hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Jody and on my channel I talk about Broadway and books and in today's video I'll be giving a spoiler free review on the latest book that I've read so as per usual with my spoiler free book reviews on my channel I go over a few things such as what the book is about general information on the book my thoughts and my star ratings so without any further ado let's get on to today's spoiler free book review and that would be for the book the seven year slip by Ashley Poston so the seven year slip follows the character of Clementine who has recently moved into her late aunt's apartment her aunt passed away six months ago, and in her will, she wanted Clementine to have her apartment. So Clementine gets all of her things, and she moves into her aunt's apartment. And this apartment just holds such a special place in her heart for her. She would go to visit her aunt there quite often. The two of them were very close. And it was there where they would have meals and talk and play card games. And it was also there where her aunt would tell her these stories about the apartment and how it was a bit magical and how time in it didn't exist like it did in the real world at times. And Clementine just loved her aunt so much, and she always enjoyed hearing these stories of her but she never you know in fact believe them to be true and then all changes one day though when suddenly out of nowhere a man appears in the apartment a man that Clementine does not know and has never met before and at first she's very confused and a bit scared by this but then as she slowly begins to look around the apartment she starts to notice how none of the stuff that she moved into the apartment is there and it's the apartment now appears as though it did before her aunt passed away and then there's a calendar that Clementine sees, and it's dated seven years in the past. And then it slowly begins to sink in to her how all these stories her aunt would tell her about this apartment were completely true. And that's basically more or less what the seven-year slip is about. Now for some general information on the book. The genre is romance, and yes, there is some spice in this book, just to let you know. And it's also a bit magical realism as well. The map pages is 326 in paperback, which is how I read the book. The timeline is the story goes back and forth between the present day and seven years in the past. And the point of view we hear from in the story is we hear from one point of view in the story, which would be from our main character of Clementine. And the story is also told in the first person as well. So now for my thoughts on this book. I absolutely love this book. Not only is it one of the best books I've ever read, but it's now my number one favorite book of all time. So before I get into why I thought this was such a good book, I just want to first point out, this is the first book by Ashley Poston that I have read so far, and clearly seeing as, you know, The Seven-Year Slip is now my number one favorite book of all time now, I'm definitely excited to read more from this author in the future. As you might be able to see over there, I have a book called The Dead Romantics, which um, was, I believe, this author's first adult romance novel. And yes, I bought that book around the time it came out, and no... I still haven't read it yet, but, you know, obviously I'm very excited to read anything this author has ever written now because just, it's like, she's, she, Ashley Post is like one of my new favorite writers now for sure, so I will read now anything she has ever written. But now moving on to why I thought this was a good book, there are three things in this book that really stood out to me um, for why I liked it so much. The first being the story. I'm, I just absolutely loved the story. This book has a story in it that is just so easy to jump into, really makes you excited to read it, and you kind of just can't help but fall, fall in love with the story the more and more you read the book. The story very much deals with the highs and lows that come with life. The story is very much about two people falling head over heels in love, but it's also a story that deals very much with grief and loss as well. And I just thought the author really did do a wonderful job telling the story this was a story that I was just very easily able to connect to and the story has many layers and because of that I found it to be really relatable in one way or another now the second thing I really liked about this book was the relationship between Clementine and Ewan Ian I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name but whatever the case may be these were the two love interests in the book and I just loved reading about their romance their love story um these two characters just had such amazing chemistry with one another they had wonderful conversations as well with one another and their banter was just so incredibly good and um you know I just thought this part of the story was just so incredibly well done because at times I did find myself on the edge of my seat not really knowing how the relationship between these two characters was going to play out and I thought the author really did do a wonderful job keeping this part of the story fresh and surprising and not predictable and the last thing I really liked about the story was how the setting felt as though it was like another character in the book um, the story takes place in New York City and I just really love the way that the city was written about in the book like how it very much can like tear you down but like at the same time give you such hope and possibility of like a better tomorrow and I just really love that aspect of the story and as someone who has been to the city several times um you know I used to see Broadway shows you know a lot but um 
there are a lot of places mentioned in this book throughout the story, um, places that I have been to in real life. And, you know, I just thought that was so fun to read about. Pl uh, places like Bryant Park were mentioned, such as the Richard Rogers Theater on Broadway, which is actually, fun fact, where I saw my very first Broadway show, which was a musical stage adaptation of the film Footloose. But yeah, those are my thoughts on the seven year slip. And now as far as my star rating goes, uh, I gave the, I easily gave this book five stars. Um, you know, I just loved reading this book. I love this book so much. It's my favorite book of all time now. <laughs> so as far as, is this a book I recommend? Yes, I totally recommend this book to read. I will always recommend this book to read. Um, so if you made it to this point of the video, thank you so very much for watching my spoiler free review on The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. I hope I helped you discover a new book today along the way. And as always, thank you so very much for watching. Until next time, bye.